And hello again, and everyone that is waiting for the XCOM footage, we'll play XCOM in a second. Uh, welcome to Marathon Gaming, the 24-7 stream vlog, where I will talk shit every day about nothing, and I don't even have a subject or anything to say today, so I don't really know what to say. But that's interesting. We've been on for 79 days today. 24-7 for 79 days, 80 tomorrow, which is fun and sweet. Uh, just a quick update for tomorrow, that me and Vengeance is probably switching shift tomorrow, because I can't be here in the morning, because I have a meeting to go to. So that's interesting. Full <laughs> yes, you're on TV. Exactly. That's how it works. You're on YouTube. And on Twitch. Highlights, I guess. So, that was fun. Currently playing XCOM with the uh, second wave settings that... They finally unlocked, you know, legally. <laughs> and with the DLC that we already had, so that wasn't really new. Already played that. And, uh... Aww. No, I'm not mad at you, Waffle. It's just annoying when something goes bad and someone calls you out on it, and you know that you've been doing so much better in the past. Waffle has been, you know, complaining about, why, why are you doing this, these mistakes? Is this the first time you play? And I'm like, well... No, I've completed this game and done a lot better than this in the past. So, it's just annoying. Because you always want to be the best you can be, obviously. And that's why I play MOBA games. No. <laughs> Don't do bad then. Well, I'm playing for fun. And I said I would just play for fun today. So... <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, League of Legends games and any mobile game can be very frustrating. If you want to do good and you die a lot, and like the last game I played, I was just so bored. And that's the problem, though. When, when it's go going well, it's fun to play. When it's going really, really bad, it's just... I can't do anything. I'm not doing anything. The team doesn't enjoy what I'm doing. I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. It's not fun. It's not good for you. Exactly, yes. Well, that's that's almost my... I had assists, though, dude. <laughs> but yes, I was like 1, 12, 11, something. That was horrible. You played EVE. You mean EVE Online. Yeah. And yeah, you can report players for doing bad in League of Legends, too, which is kind of weird. If it's for balance. Oh, in, in League of Legends, obviously. Sorry. I was thinking Eve. I was thinking Eve Online. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. So, Shadow is actually coming back tomorrow. Uh, well, at least he's coming home tomorrow. He won't probably be on here tomorrow. Not that I know of, anyway. I don't think so. Nothing is planned. And he's coming back, and I don't remember... He was playing indie games before he left, just because he knew he was leaving, so he didn't want to start something, you know, too long or too serious or anything. But when he comes back, he will probably take over League of Legends, because uh, he is the pro at that. So he's like... <laughs> I don't remember, what is it? 1900 or 2000 something in something, in the thingy. So... He will do that, and it, that will probably more be more enjoyable for you, even though he is... Yeah, he can rage at people when they do bad, so, you know. He said himself, he will, won't probably play with all the viewers, because he won't, don't want to rage on them. Yeah, I know, Waffle. Uh, that's, you know... The idea of him playing is actually to just gain League of Legends viewers, I guess, uh, People that want to see good players in general. <laughs> Level 30, 30 throws. And yeah, Anto, you're good. From what I've seen, you're really good. At least. But yeah, I mean, I will play League of Legends from time to time, of course, and I still have the level 30 challenge to do. I still want to get to level 30 eventually, but I might be playing more from home in the future. We'll have to see. So it's kind of sucked that 
you know, now when I'm planning XCOM, I'm get, getting a lot of, you know, old viewers, newer viewers, uh, people that like XCOM. We know that that's quite a popular uh, Twitch game, actually. So bad that I don't have anything to talk about today. Except for Shadow coming back, um, Waffle being mean. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. We're also talking about playing the uh, Pokemon MMO together with the viewers, of course. Or I am, at least. Because the others are like, Pokemon. Uh. But I like Pokemon. I guess we could mention they actually announced a new Pokemon game yesterday. Pokemon X and Y. So I guess two games, but you know it's not really two games. It's just two different Pokemons in the different games. I think. I don't know what the differences are yet, but... Whatever. And it actually looks quite good. They actually, they're actually doing 3D this time. It's on the 3DS, so they've changed the look of, of it a lot, and the fighting a lot, and I'm just happy that they finally changed the thingy. Because it's been the same since 96. It was released in 96, I believe. And it was, it's about time they change it. I mean, the graphics has been a bit... It's been a little bit of 3D effects that you actually change the view depending on where you walk and such, but it doesn't really... It's still the same, basically. Let's see what you guys were saying. Yada yada, yada yada. Dum dum dum. They are released in October, I believe. The Pokemon X and Y. Pokemon Blue all the way. I actually played Pokemon Red. But I didn't play it for Charizard. It's just that I love Red more than Blue. And Moogle says that Red is better. So that's nice. Nice. Good to know. Good to know. If it's true. I played it just because it's Red. And my first Pokemon was actually Squirtle. So. Yep. Now you know. First Pokemon I ever played with. Squirtle. Man, I miss playing Pokemon for the first time. I'm sorry for all the kids these days that don't get that experience of playing the very, very first Pokemon. Because goddamn, when that came out, it was so good. Yellow, duh. Well, Yellow was released later, wasn't it? It wasn't released at the same time. It was like a year or something after the first ones, I believe. But yeah, then you get this broken Pikachu. Kids these days are spoiled. Well, I guess that's a matter of opinion, of course. Well, what else should we talk about? What else should we do with the future of our lives? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Good match, girl. Thank God. I miss playing that on, po on Game Boy. When you still actually played it on Game Boy and not emulators and such. Um... Like most people do these days, um, sadly. And on, uh, not emulators, but also on, like, downloaded on memory cards and so on. I shouldn't mention these things. Anyway, being uh, something that I don't even know what it is. A face. Bitch, please. I prefer buying games. I've always been that like that. I like buying my games. There's also a new uh, um, Humble Bundle thing out. In which you, huh, I don't remember the eight games you got, but it looks interesting. It was one game that was more story-driven, click adventure, I believe. It seemed sweet. Might get that. It was $8. Uh, well, actually, it was $8 minimum, yeah, and then $12, $12 if you wanted a 8-bit soundtrack thing from a band that I don't remember the name of. So that was sweet. We'll look into that and see if we can have some new indie games. We have a lot of indie games. Actually, I played one today, which was, uh, what was it called now again? Breath of Death 7, for some reason. So, a joke on Breath of Fire and Final Fantasy 7, I'm guessing. Guessing. I don't know. And it was actually quite fun. So, we'll, we'll play that some more tomorrow. I bet I will do highlights of that game, actually, and upload to YouTube. So you guys can see it again. I did voice acting through the whole game. It was amazing. <laughs> Just ask the chat, they thought it was amazing. And I talked like this a lot, of, because there was a lot of ladies. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of ladies in that game. I just ignored talking to them after a while. 
because it was annoying for my voice. See, a lot of love there. Um, let's see, what are you guys saying now? Nothing. Nargo is a ladies' man. Well, if you by ladies you mean a lady, yes. I mean, for my girlfriend, you, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Amazingly bad. Come on, I did some good voice acting too, dude. <laughs> I hope I will listen to it later when I get home. We'll see how it was. That joke. There's a lot of trolls in the chat today. Actually, mostly uh, mostly mods. They're all trolls these days. I don't know what Vengeance was thinking when he modded some of these people. But then again, he just did it, so... You are... Uh, uh, we can discuss that later. Off the YouTube clip. But you call me names. <laughs> well, I'm not calling you names, Artard, because you're hardly even here when I stream. Yeah, I have managed to troll at all, so that's nice. <laughs> all these lousy. Yeah. Anyway, I think that was it for today. Now we're just babbering, blabbering, bladdering, blad bladder. We're just talking shit, basically. It was fun. It's always fun to talk shit with the chat, and always fun to just share this with you guys. Anyway, Nargo Pro from Marathon Gaming. As you know, we're a 24-7 stream on Twitch. Links to that is below. Join us live right now, even if you're watching this. Whenever you're watching this, just click the link and we're there. Unless, you know, we're rebooting or something weird. That would be very odd timing for you. And uh, we've been going on for 79 days. It's been awesome so far, so let's hope we can do go for another 80, at least. Thanks for watching. I'm Nargo. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. At a different time. But tomorrow. Bye, everyone. <laughs>Holy shit, what's going on here? That was the best outro. This episode is not officially over yet. <laughs> what the fuck was that shit? Let's see. Let's see if I can just play this properly. What the hell? There we go. Ignore that message in the beginning.